Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm doing uh, another update on this uh, Fluxgate generator setup. It is already running because I did a test already. Like I said in the previous video, in the previous video I was testing this core over here. Sorry, this uh, rotor over here. As you can see it in my hand. Now I'm testing the 12 pole one with a uh, very small iron uh, pieces on there. Um, it is running a little bit slow because I have a little bit of vibration issue. Still on 26 volt at anything below 50 milliamps. When the system is turning with no coil in place like this, like that, I have 1903 RPM. When the coil is in place and there's no load on uh, with the LED, so like this, but without the LED, it stayed the same and uh, that's a little bit strange even if I say that myself and when I load it with the LED like this I have 1875 uh, RPM which is roughly about more 28 RPM drop and if I short the coil it will go to 1851 RPM so <coughs> excuse me this rotor over here is performing much better than this one because the light output is the same or if I just look at it with my eyes I would say a little bit better than before than the previous video but with this rotor the um, system does not slow down as much in the previous video it slowed down about 100 rpm and now it's only about 28 RPM. Gonna stop it now. Slow it down by hand. Yes, remove the coil of this. There you can see the rotor that I show in the previous video, 12 pole. As you can see, the iron discs are very, very small. So before I tested this one, then I went to this one, and now I'm with this one. This one till now gives me the best output and also the least um, drag on the system. So this one is a keeper. What I'm going gonna do now uh, that I've done testing all these uh, rotors. I'm gonna put uh, another magnet like this. This is also a ring magnet. Duh. Same as this one. I'm gonna replace this rotor with this magnet. I'm gonna start putting them uh, with the same pole facing each other and then the other way. And I'm gonna put the coil in there the same way and also turn it 90 degrees like that and put it in there and see what happens. And what I'm also going to do is put this flywheel on this spot where the rotor is. So it will be a, uh, yeah, uh, like a one big iron rotor turning uh, with this magnet. And we'll see how it goes. In other words, plenty of stuff to play with. Okie dokie, hope you enjoy this uh, another uh, small update. And as always, thank you for watching.